My name is Daniel Musida. I'm an associate professor at the Rockefeller University. My interest in biology stems from uh, interest in genetics and uh, marine biology. I grew up inland in Brazil, but I always liked surfing, so I think marine biology was more surfing related. I started working gut immunology since my first semester in undergrad. The gut, the intestine, uh, is the largest area we have in the body uh, in contact with the environment. For example, the skin, it's kind of roughly a hundredfold smaller than the intestinal area. And that's kind of one of the reasons that I became interested in mucosal immunology. In the intestine, you also have associated with the intestine, the largest immune system of the body is exposed to a large amount of non-self antigens or proteins all the time. So that includes the diet, for example. What you eat is considered for the immune system something that's foreign because it's not part of the body. Therefore, you need to develop tolerance against that. So the cancer in the intestine can be triggered by mutations in the epithelium or by excessive inflammation, like in case of colitis-associated cancer. The cells that we are interested in in this project, as well as the core of the lab, these are called intraepithelial lymphocytes. This intraepithelium is because they are inside the epithelial layer. So they are between the epithelial cells. They are kind of a special type of immune cell. They are in vast majority T cells. So T cells are exactly the ones that can more efficiently control cancer development. Uh, and they are the target of all immunotherapies. They are constantly moving. So our lab found a few years ago that these cells, intraepithelial lymphocytes, are not static. They are constantly moving in the epithelium. So the question is, these cells are constantly active and are always touching the epithelial cells. So can they sense when the cell is transformed or is stressed? Can they control the initiation when we have a mutation and, and prevent expansion of a cancer, for example? The Pershing Square Sun Prize will allow us to study how immune cells that are present in the gut may regulate both by controlling tumor development or suppressing tumor growth, colorectal cancer. So my lab, we like to take advantage of combining a group of technologies that were not present 10 years ago, but these are, are basically coupling imaging techniques, so really high-end um, state-of-art live, as well as uh, deep tissue imaging. So that allows us to understand how immune cells are behaving in live animals, in a live tumor environment, as well as combining that with functional approaches to ask the questions whether these particular gene pathways help or prevent uh, immune cell activity against tumors or tumor growth themselves. When I found out that I, that I won the Pershing Square Sun uh, Award, uh, I told the scientists involved in the project that we finally will be able to do all the type of uh, research that we are interested in doing to, to understand the development of, of cancer in the gut.